Take a look and see what I see here. Here we have roasted thyme. This is great for your seasoning and stuff. And in here, oregano, Dominican oregano. You know those fine leaf thyme, the oregano. This is really strong. This is the one that I use in most of my cooking. You will see where I will tell you it's very pungent to go like. And look at this, my dear food. It's lemongrass. As we all know it in the islands also as fever grass, is lemongrass. This is a stock. The stocky part of it not the root part the root part is where you will see in my vids i will use it for my lemon chicken and stuff but this is the top part of it is great for making teas granny used to use this to make that lemongrass tea when you have the fever and all of that you could also put it in your punch and your iced tea and all of that here we go another one this is a mexican leaf i do not know you could zoom in if I zote the leaf, I do not know the use of this, but on my comment, my viewers who know, you can let me know what we use it for. And this also, sour sap leaf, gua guayabana. This leaf I know is very good for my African brothers and sisters. They will say that this leaf is very good for cancer. Any type of cancer you have, this is excellent in making teas and stuff. That's what you will use, you will drink. And, and you could also use this for like a cooling. Granny used to put them in the refrigerator and water in a glass and have you keep drinking this all day. This is good to cool your blood down. Very interesting. Lots and lots of this more sour stuff. Leaf. Great shopping oregano again. Jerk season by the bulk. This is a lovely place. I love to shop here. And here we have some cinnamon. These are local cinnamons. We will get like from places like uh, Africa. So you have different grade and different quality different types as you can see the big difference right here you see more you will get this like in Pakistan and Bengali and those Indian Asian and then this is like the regular ones you will get for places like Malaysia and Thai there you go lovely and curry powder well you know I'm half Indian and half Chinese we can't resist the curry so lots of bulk curry powders as we move in here we have the cayenne pepper and you know in my in my vids i will said i have that number eight cayenne pepper that i would buy in bulk this is what it is here very hot and spicy and these here is the seeds like the little bead seeds of the pimento seeds this is what you will get here in bulk this one is a little loose there you go this is what it looked like like the all spice the whole all spice also known as pimento seeds so let's keep moving on and see all this lovely supermarket ha supermarket have to offer from Africa, India, Asia, and also in the Caribbean islands. And this is the famous bay leaf. I did a video where I show you the fresh bay leaf. So the, usually I will always find it like this in bulk, bulk bay leaves. And all the seasoning and stuff here, yeah, as you can see, the sasson, complete sasson, seasoning in bulk you can buy or you can even get them single. As you take a look over on the other side, right here we have different companies. La Flor is the number one. I really like this season. I use them a lot. There's so many different ones in them. This one, Corn Sasson, it has that red color in it. The Aceto or the Anato or the Ruku seed. That is what the coloring agent is in this for red. All purpose. And the Adobo, which is about the same thing, but the only difference is the price difference. Brand name. Lots of stuff in here. As we go down this lane, there are lots of stuff like uh, coloring and seasonings and salts and soup all down this lane over here. Here we have all the sugars and stuff, masa to make a tamales and all this lovely thing. And the sasson, I got quick, a lot of questions by dear foodie about the sasson, what the sasson is. The sasson is a Spanish seasoning in little packets you will find in here with coloring agent with ruku, also made from fresh herbs like the recao, cilantro, curl, curly parsley and all of those lovely herbs and spices going on in here. Foodies, how can we forget our childhood memories? Ovaltine and Granny used to make. There you go in the glass bottle. Milo. Who can forget Milo drink? That nice hot cup of Milo with bread and butter that she just made. There you go, lovely. And the Horlicks. Horlicks was another one. I never really grew up on the Horlicks, but this was another one. Chocolate flavored and all of that. And we have the instant milk. Nescafe coffee from the islands, instant. There you go, lovely. And milk. Actually, this is liquid milk. I didn't see powdered milk. 
but there is powdered milk. I will show to you. Lovely stuff here at this market. I'm just enjoying myself and bringing back all those childhood memories from way back when. It's couscous, simonella, something very interesting. In a lot of Mediterranean dishes, you will find that they would use they would use this it contain it contains wheat also you see giving you the information right here and they're different sizes as you take a look in here my dear you see this is a medium size couscous in a lot of mediterranean cooking and in the middle east this is what they would be using a lot of the couscous and rice and i have another interesting thing here you know fufu from our my african brothers and sisters this is fufu mix this is a plantain where you will take the fresh fruit boil it and give it pound 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 and you make that lovely moist fufu fufu is enjoyed with soups and stews where you break it off and dip it and you eat it really lovely here we already have it in packages there's different different ones the plantain the yam or mixture of plantain and yam cassava so there you go another lovely lovely interesting item here I love this. Get a zoom into that. Awesome. And very interesting too, I also use the vermicelli. This is the colored one. Vermicelli or sawine, that what you will know the Muslim brothers and sisters will make at that time of Ramadan. This is it. It's also used in pilaf to make your rice pilaf and all of that. You add it into it. Or rice aroni, that favorite dish. There you go. So now let's take a look over. There is the powdered milk I was telling you about right here. Remember this milk, my dear foodie, growing up as a kid? We had the lactate and all of that. So we have a wide variety here you can look at. This is another one. They're all powdered in instant milk. Needle. We all remember the needle milk growing up as a child. We used to use this in our cocoa and coffee and chocolate cake. This is another interesting one. This is the one I will usually get all the time and do my baking and my cooking. The peak is very creamy. It's a baby size one here too that you can try. And custards. You know, Granny used to make the custard, make that nice puff, and you could do the custard, the instant custard, make that filling, and you put it into the puff. Lovely. All this exciting stuff. And growing up as a baby, I remember feeding my babies Nestum cereal. Lots of great stuff in here. Cerulac. This is a, also another infant cereal lovely great stuff here and i'm just going wild in here because it's just bring back so much of my my childhood memories and growing up in the island so many stuff that i see over here that i just want to share to with you this is the african lane here my african brothers and sisters this is all their stuff so as you can see there are small packets of the fufu flour you see and this is the fufu here where you enjoy it with the soup and stews and this one go this is a plantain fufu this one, as you see, fufu mix, cocoa yam. This is the mixed one where you will use the cocoa, which is the edo, and the yam, with either be the yellow, white, the negro yam, whichever one. This is another plantain, and this is a flower. All you have to do is add water. See plantain again, cocoa yam, where it will show you which one it is. You have some bean flour, fufu flour again. I'm looking, I don't know who. Farina. And here we have pop. Pop is a fermented corn flour where you would use this. This could also use um, to as a thickening agent. So we have that. More couscous going on here. Fermented banku flour. Again, for my from my, my African brothers and sisters. This is all their stuff. So another one over here. Authentic pounded yam. So this is a yam to make the fufu. Just solamente yam. Yam only. So you take the flour and of course we'll be using liquid for it to form up that lovely bowl for the fufu this is another one over here cassava cassava or yuca as we know it the cassava flour to use to make when my jamaican brothers and sisters will make bami which is a west african dish where it came from there the cassava flour you could also use it to make dumpling cassava dumpling cassava bread there's so many ways you could use it you know what i'm going to take one of this and we're going to do a lovely recipe this one is for me this one is interesting, it's a bit pink. Oh, this one is, um, this is brown. I think this is to make, let me read this for you, my dear foodies. Reddish brown directions. This is to make, I think this is to make like a porridge, like a flower porridge. My uh, Jamaican brothers and sisters, and here they have the different one, the yellow one, the white one, the pink ones. Crispy quality, this is another cassava powder again. But this cassava, 
is a bit coarse as you can see it's a bit grainy so it's pretty much coarse my african brothers and sisters use this i do not know how to use this but in the comment below you can tell me how you use it because i know my videos is worldwide so more again flower again lots of stuff here lots and lots of stuff more flower again I don't know what this is, but this is what my, my African brothers and sisters will use. Oh, something interesting over here. We got some shrimp in here. Look at that. It's not pepper shrimp. It's some nice dry shrimp, smoked dry whole shrimp. I guess they use this for their delicacies, like to make, put in the jollof rice maybe to powder it. I'll add it into the stews and all of that. So that's about it. Let's take a look again in another lane. nutritious it could be it could be in green or it could be like in a powdered form so here is if you can zoom in you'll see this is the size of this one like in balls and then this one is a little finer green it's a great sauce it is a little different from quinoa but you could use the quinoa also it's high in fiber and it's great for your for your digestive system this is another fine powdered one that you could powder and make for your cereal like cornmeal porridge and we have different colors in it this is another millet here finely coated it's a brown colored millet over here and this is the bigger the bigger green one also over here and look what we found here this is like soy protein what is this this is some sort of fruit uh, organic gluten loaded with vitamins and minerals so a lot of healthy stuff we have in here too some stuff i don't even know what they are. i heard of them but i never used them I never made any recipes with them, but this is interesting. This is another size over here, La Rose Blanche, which is um, another light color millet. So we have the light one, we have the brown one, and uh, we have this in the powdered form one, the gray one or white one. So let's move along now. So my dear foodies, you know when I make that biryani rice in my recipes, you will see I'll be using rose water and all of that so this is what it is it's simple and easy you can make your own rose water i'll do an upcoming video for you this is basically what it is it's just adding some sweetness back into your rice especially your rice dishes and like your, your uh sweet little sweets that you will make so this here is the orange blossom this is the rose you have the vermouth which is also a grape fruit uh, syrup here and I see some stuff here which is from Africa. It's a fr this is peanut butter cream which they will use. The Africans will use for their peanut butter soup. Very interesting. And this is another fruit cherry you, you will use like as a topping. How you will use a cherry. This is one of them. I asked one of the African shoppers here and she was telling me about it. So I don't know much about it. And as we move by here, we have some jams. Here is a papaya jam. Lovely. Some jams here. Tamban jelly. And this one is interesting. This is a this is um baboya, which is really the uh sour sap, sour sap jam. Lovely. And yeah, more sour sap here. Another one over here. And look what I hibiscus. They would call this hibiscus jelly, but this is really sorrel. That's sorrel from the islands. This is what this is, the jam in that. And we have some regular mango, chunky mango jam. And mango is in season now. We could do a lovely video with that. So lots of interesting things around. Quinoa also is a very healthy food you could use for a lot of us who want to cut back on the rice and all those carbs and all of that. So here we have a variety of quinoa. This is a quinoa flower. And then we have the black quinoa where you could also mix this with the with the white quinoa. We have the red quinoa. This one is a tri-color quinoa, which is the red, the white, and the black. You see that? Really lovely. I use a lot of this. And we also have them here. You see, this is a white. Let me show it to you in the big packet. See how it looks like little sago grains, little puppy seed look. And this is the black. The black quinoa. There you go. And this is the red. You could mix all three. You could make it all by itself or add some uh, beans to it. Or you can make it and add it to your salad. It's another lovely one there. 